Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Super Blood Wolf Moon. Uh, scripture references out of Psalms 19, verse 1, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims His handiwork. So, this is coming up on January 2021, this uh, Super Blood Wolf Moon. And a wolf moon is a full moon in January. And this wolf moon will be in total eclipse or a blood moon. So there's the term super blood wolf moon. Now the lunar eclipse in 2019 will occur on January 2021st. In North America, the partial lunar eclipse will begin at 1034 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 20th. And the total lunar eclipse will begin at 1141 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 20th. Totality will end at 1243 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on January 21st, so just a little bit after midnight. And the partial eclipse will end at 1.50 a.m. on January 21st. The total lunar eclipse will also be viewable in extreme Western Europe and extreme Northern Asia. Now, if you want some scientific data, all you atheists out there, I know you're listening, uh, check out spacetourismguide.com uh, for the specific information in regarding the timing of the event. Um, which takes us to Joel 2, verse 31. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. Peter quotes the verse above in Acts 2, verse 20. Now, the answer lies in the verse, so read carefully. Note the word before. Is this upcoming event a sign? Okay, so if it is a sign, it's just that. It's a sign. And a sign indicates something is coming. Nothing's going to happen other than an incredible celestial heavenly event. Now, this January 2019 total lunar eclipse will mark the end of a decade uh of a decade-long series of lunar and solar eclipses. And there have been a total of 40 heavenly events from 2010 through 2019. Now, at the center of these events was a tetrad of lunar eclipses that occurred on Passover 2014, Tabernacles 2014, Passover 2015, and Tabernacles 2015. And so here is the... Here's what this looks like, and, and the point is to look at the symmetry of this. So, now I have a chart that's provided uh, as well on the blog post, so you can get a good look at it right there. You know, and the point is to look, you know, the midpoint of this was January 5, 2015, and it's perfect symmetry. There are 40 of these. Uh, you could pause this, go back and look at it, take a look at this chart. Also, if you're interested in the chart, it's provided at paulthepoke.com on the post. And you can take a good long look at this. But, you know, it's undeniable. There's ridiculous symmetry with a midpoint. And it goes around the four main events of the blood moon. Passover Tabernacles 2014. Passover Tabernacles 2015. Everything revolves around those four events. And um, you can go back and look at that. It's all going to boil down to what, what anybody thinks about this. So... Uh, you know, and to quote the observer of this phenomenon, it's Paul Grievous. He's the guy who told me about this and showed me that this, this is the only tetrad in world history from 3000 BC to 2015 AD. So that's 5,015 years to display symmetrical perfection of exact days about midpoint with all 40 eclipses, 2010 through 2019 end quote. And again, that's Paul Grievous. Um, now, to me, the thing that gets interesting is there are 40 heavenly signs with perfect symmetry. And the number 40 is consistent with the Hebraic concept of teshuva. Now, the English term we use is repent. And so the idea of repent is to turn toward God. And people are called to turn away from their sin, repent, and change course. And it's a time of inward reflection and sincere self-assessment. The goal is a change in lifestyle away from sin 
to obedience in God's word. So let's just be perfectly clear. None of us are perfect. We all muck it up. We all screw it up. Put the speaker, the guy talking right here at the front of the line. I'm an absolute mess. And God knows what goes on between my two ears. And it's not pretty sometimes. So I'm just as guilty as anybody else. We're all guilty. Now the issue gets to be as to whether or not we turn to Christ. Uh, and just to be clear, I'm not calling for the resurrection of the dead or the rapture on this date. I don't, I don't think it's coming on January 2021. So if you're looking for date setting and corresponding events, this is not your website. This is not your, your outlet. My money says the resurrection and rapture do not happen. Now that said, I welcome the prophecy with open arms. Come Lord Jesus. But if this is the last sign of a decade-long process within a series of 40 signs, the message is very simple. It's a warning. We are called to repent of our ways. Um, change your hearts and return to God. Believe in the cross work of Jesus. If not, it's real simple. Judgment's coming. It's always been that way. You know, 40 days, 40 nights, flood, tribulation. Jesus tempted. He, he was better than us. He, he didn't buckle. Um, and, and again, y'all believe what you want to. I'm not trying to tell you what to think. It's your own, it's your own free will. It's your own choice. Do what you want. You can call me names and tell me I'm full of whatever. That's fine. But don't kid yourself. We are trending hard towards a date with destiny. And I'm going to close with Matthew 24, verses 21 and 22. Words of Jesus. For then there will be a great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now. No, and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no human being would be saved. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. And again, that's Jesus. Now keep in mind, this includes Noah's flood. And Jesus says what's coming at some point in the future is worse than Noah's flood. So I'm not trying to scare the hell out of everybody. You can turn to Christ and avoid a lot of this. He paid for sin. It's real simple. It's a simple legal argument. He's the defense attorney. He'll pay for your for your fine of sin. Just trust it. He'll pay for it. That's all that's being asked. I mean, if not, you, you're not paying for it, but that's your business. Um, if you're interested in these sorts of topics, uh, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com. You can click on this blue bar, type in your email address, receive a notification every time we post something up. You guys are more than welcome to come along and enjoy. This will be posted in the far right column under the category of, oh, we're going to go down here to signs, sun, moon, and stars. It's going to be under there. Also, the gospel is included. Yes, Jesus did die for sin. He was buried and he was resurrected, which means he conquered sin, overcame death, and that's the promise for us as well. He paid for sin and overcame death. That's the point. Nobody's pulling that trick off by themselves. We need we need a higher power that is Jesus, the Son. So, wishing you guys the best. Y'all take care. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.